All right, Tubes, uh, Mike got the, uh, what is that, a sump, a card or something? Like yeah, a card or sump, a base. Got the one sump on, and uh, let me see, you got, see the connecting rod? He's got the connecting rod in. And yeah, the, that's all done up. The slinger, the splasher, and there's your gears and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's set the other sump on there. Set the other one on there, and uh, I'm going to uh, flip it there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, she looks good. You tighten that up. Yeah, tighten that up. Tighten the sumps down. Hmm. Pretty neat looking. It's going, it's going like together a lot faster than I thought it would. Yeah. Yeah, it should be alright. Hmm. Hmm. It'd be funny if it started on the first pull. Would be. I think it will. <laughs> yeah. That should. Well, Mike's tightening that down. I'm going to show you what we got here. I had to make up. Here's a carburetor. I got it on a pickle jar because the we're going to make. We're only going to put one carburetor on it, but uh, just to get it started, we're going to use two. And here's my other carburetor. One's a pickle jar, and one's a Peanut butter jar. I hope they work all right. Yeah, we just needed it for clearance, right? Yeah. Be able to fit. Can't you, we couldn't put the two gas tanks together. Side by side. So we had to make them. But like I say, uh, we are we are going to wind up just putting one carburetor on. Yeah. We're going to have to build a manifold for it, but not right now. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Just put the points cover on. Tighten that up. Right. Now we're gonna put the flywheel on. Yeah. All right. Well, now this is the not that's, modern. That's the newer, the, right? The newer, the modern. Of the two, right. Of the two. Which is nice because it's first off it's iron, so it's heavier. Second, it'll work with our ignition system. It had a it had the smaller, had the the more powerful magnet on it too. Right. Huh. Kind of. What's that problem? What's the problem? Is it really? Huh. All right, well, let's check this out and figure out what's going on. All right, we'll get back to you. All right, get the flywheel on. Now you got to put the, what do they call that, the cup? Yeah, the rope cup, start cup. cup. And then the washer. And then a reverse thread nut. Hmm. I was reading about them nuts, uh, tubes. They say if you have a, a half inch shaft, or a ha yeah, half inch shaft on there for for the nut. Then it's a reverse thread, and if it's a five eighths. That's a standard standard thread. Mm -hmm. I was wondering when they started and stopped that. I couldn't figure out. I couldn't find out what year. Just uh, the shaft sizes. Hmm. Okay, that's good. That's good. I like it. All right. Pretty nice. Very nice. And okay. now let's uh, set our ignition system on there. Okay. Ignition coil. We'll get our coil, put that on, and then. Uh, we'll do the heads. Hey? Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there you go. All right. Cool. All right, Mike, uh, we put the co you put the coil on, hmm? and he's putting the shroud on right now. Okay. And then. Uh, We had to modify one of these heads now for clearance. Right. This one here looks pretty good, nice mm. and rounded. And we got 12 head bolts to put on. Yeah. Road King had to modify this one head here so it fit because you had the fin. See the tail on that one? Yeah. The tail comes, oops, sorry about that. You see they're like almost like a triangle. Well, this one here I had to make it into a, a rectangle. Just another one of the modifications. Let's see. Got your head gaskets on. Mm-hmm. There you go. It's all ready. What, what we need now? Uh, carburetor? Carburetor. Yeah. 
carburetors, yep. That's it. Then we're going to see if it starts. <laughs> we have a custom gas tank we're going to put on there and uh, customize the intake manifold and put one carburetor and then customize the exhaust, but for now, and then paint it up and everything, but for now, we're just putting it together. Yeah, just to make sure, make sure this thing runs. Absolutely. Looks good, doesn't it? It does. Well, they look like something after, after all this time. How'd you like that coil? I, uh, I think I spent two hours on that trying to trying to get that to, to work with that. Well, yeah, with that with that flywheel. Fly yeah. I mean, it works good. It's what we needed. A lot of modification going on here. But it works well. It's like that. Yeah. Yeah, we spun we spun the thing and got the got a real hot spark out of both yeah, wires. So. Yeah, each. Uh, so that's good. Each so we're very optimistic. Yes, we are. We haven't named this. Maybe uh, we can get some suggestions, Mike. <laughs> All my <laughs> engines have names, but this one. Huh. No. While you're tightening it down, we can uh, we can go through them here. We got Big John. He got his name because he's a Fuller Johnson. Get it, John? Big John Johnson. And then we got. Uh, we got the stove, but the stove is down here. That's all in pieces. But that's Grover. Grover the Stover. And then you got the Connie over here. Connie the Economy. And Hercules. That goes without saying. And we got Al. Al, because Al's uh, an Alamo. An Empire Alamo. So uh, we give all our engines a name. But we don't have one for this, so uh, anybody got a name for the Briggs here? The twin, the twin Briggs, custom twin Briggs, let us know. You all tight? Just about. Huh. You put your plugs in? Look at Mike twerking them down. <laughs> Click. And there you go. Okay, perfect. Put the plugs in there. What's, what size wrench you need for them? Uh, three quarter. I think uh, that might be out somewhere here. There you go. Uh, you might need a socket, huh? Yeah, socket be better. Oh, man. Okay. You might have to help yourself, buddy. There you go. I'm filming. I'm busy right now filming. Uh, what do you got in here? Little, little J8s? Yeah. Just to get it going. Aren't, aren't too picky. No. That's a bad looking engine, boy. Hmm. Beefy looking. All right. Bug wire. Hmm. Looking good. Hmm. Kind of trim those. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of big. That's all I had when I was making it, so uh, I didn't know how big it was going to be and everything. I figured the hell with it. Just leave them long until we're ready. Exactly. Okay, what's next? Car Carburetors. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. You're going to love these carburetors, tubes. We're going to have to make a gasket for once. We're going to have to put you on pause. Yeah. We got one gasket already up there. Yep, we got one left over. One original. Clean them both, so hopefully they uh, they work. What are you gonna need a Phillips or a regular flathead? Flathead. There's one sitting over there. There we go. <laughs> Reminds me of the old Soupy Sales show. <laughs> that's that's too old for you to remember, but uh, oh, no, he used to, he, uh, he used to have a dog named Fang. You never seen the dog, but you always seen his hand. <laughs> White fine. Some of you older twos remember that, huh? The Super Cell Show? Okay. What a good old days. Let me check out this carburetor. That's Here good. we go. That's good, doesn't it? That's the peanut butter carb. Runs on peanut butter. Yep. Now, oh, we gotta make a gasket for that. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, make a gasket and then we'll get back to you guys. Alright. Alright, we're all gasketed up there. Now we're putting on the, the pickle jar, the pickle jar carb. I, 
guess uh, maybe maybe we'll get a piece of wood and just mount on a piece of wood to keep it from bouncing yeah, around. Yeah, just to give it a more. So place. maybe one of us can stand on it while the other one tries pulling. Huh. Gonna have loads of compression. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go get a, a mounting base and uh, we'll get back to these. All right. 